We're gonna compare two tools today, folks. One of them costs four times as much as the other one. I don't think I can justify it. I'll try to make a case. Stick around. show you a brand new tool today that we have never used before never shown on our channel just got them in recently from Reist we showed you their power rake that we used last year on our skid steer Reist manufactures a lot of landscaping tools primarily for skid steers but they do it for tractors and three-point hitches as well and this is one of their uh, their tools and we've had some demand some requests for drag mats and I don't know it's just never been a thing that's had much it hasn't piqued my interest right but anyway, I thought that this was a unique design. It's a roll-up mat, crank design uh, with the handle on here. You can roll this whole thing up. Two-inch receiver mount, so if you get something like um, a trailer mover on the back of your tractor, like the Versa Bracket, or if you have an ATV or UTV, or I guess even a, a smaller vehicle that you want to pull around with, you could do it on there too. So I like that versatility that it offers. It comes in two different widths. You have a 66 inch and an 84 inch working width. The overall width is gonna be a little bit wider um, roughly 73 inches I think it is and 91 inches on the bigger unit I've never used a drag mat before so you know I mean I've really only seen them used on baseball diamonds uh, the infield but I, I get requests for them for other uses as well so maybe there's uh, more of a demand and more of a, a widespread uses that I'm just not aware of right but anyway I thought it was worth getting in I got a couple of grab handles here that are really just I think to help you uh, get that thing uh, installed on your your two inch hitch there You'll see a couple of little welded on hooks in the back. It came with some extra rubber straps, I think, just kind of as a, um, an extra precaution to help 
keep that thing from unrolling, but this crank handle is held in place by a spring-locked pin here. That you can just pull back and, and rotate and, and lock it in place there. So once it is cranked up, there's not really anywhere that it can go, but I suppose better safe than sorry. So really it's not too complicated. We don't have any ball diamonds out here, but we do have a couple of different areas that I thought, hey, it's worth a shot. We've done the majority of the grading and it's just really trying to improve and get it to that really good finish grade. And uh, one area we brought in a lot of topsoil, part of that topsoil was filtered, some of it was not filtered, so you're gonna see some interesting surprises that uh, come out of that. Another area we recently tilled up and worked up a lot of side. We had dug out five different stumps, um, just trying to smooth it out, get it leveled back out, and then seed it and everything else. We've had some, we've been battling some weather around here, so I think things are dried out well enough. Uh, could always be drier, I suppose but it's not rock hard, it's, it's not super wet, so it's just kind of in the mix, and I don't know, you guys watch and see what you think. Uh, it takes a lot of passes. You gotta, you gotta pay close attention to watching how that grade and how that surface just slowly improves, um, at least on the area along the drive where we brought in the topsoil. The other area I'm not so sold on. I think a dethatcher rake that we sell would do a better job. Um, I like the versatility of the two inch receiver mount, but it's kind of a pain. You have to take these big arching swings uh, to get repositioned. And I like a three point attachment. You can just lift it up, just do a quick turn and then get back right where you want to go. And with the detacher rake, you can go forwards and backwards. Now this area that we tilled up and going to be reseeding where we had all the stumps, it's really coming along. I will say though, and I want to know your opinion on this. I don't really like the finished results. It definitely did smooth down the dirt overall it did level it out even more but it separated out filtered out i guess the remaining side clumps that are there and kind of almost shook off all the remaining dirt that was on there and left a lot of little bare root little clumps so i think that the thatcher rake might have done a better job because it would also go through and smooth out everything really well but then i think actually collect all of those side clumps by either pulling or or, or pushing that rake along and condensing them into smaller piles where you can then scoop them up and get rid of them. So all in all, honestly, I'm not really sure if this is worth the money. And maybe it's because I'm not using it in the right application. Maybe it's because I don't know how to use it. Maybe it's, you know, there's, there's different ways to use it and I'm not aware of it. So if you want a drag mat, we have an option for you. Didn't order a lot of these, just a couple of uh, each size right now, just to kind of test the market and see what you think about it. It's not cheap. Um, I'm gonna say that as well, but it's an option for you. It's something that we carry. And uh, you know, we'll let the video speak for itself. And then as well as you guys also with your different skill sets as operators, if you think it's the right tool for you, great. Um, I am not sold on it though, but you will see it for sale on our website. And uh, I guess we'll wait for your feedback. So what we're gonna do now is throw on the three point to thatcher rake and see how that does over there. If it does collect all the sod instead of just kind of spreading it out like it's done right now, it's certainly not gonna hurt the conditions over there if anything is going to help i think it's a better tool but let's find out now a lot of you still haven't seen the tractor that we're using it's the summit tx25 comes with all sorts of features as standard that other tractors don't we've done a whole bunch of videos on it so check those out if you want to or go to summittractors.com okay folks we're back out the next morning ran out of time the day before hooked up the 60 inch to thatcher from cmp and you know we've talked about this a whole bunch love this thing and i think today you're going to see where it really thrives and, and just a fantastic application for it. And to be fair, we did run over this area with the drag mat first, but I honestly don't think that had much of a, an impact on this. Uh, the performance of this rake, I think is gonna really shine. You're gonna see exactly what it does. It does, well, it's doing three things at the same time right now. Number one is collecting all those loose clumps of debris, all the, the little side chunks and the root chunks that are left over, any of the roots, any branches, sticks. Uh, even a few rocks I saw uh, getting swept up and collected here or there. Uh, two, it is leveling and smoothing things out, all right? It's, it's just moving that dirt kind of slowly and evenly. It's a rake, that's what it is. It's a, it's a two row rake that you have here and it's just doing what you would do with a rake. So think about the same kinds of jobs there, except you're just doing it with your tractor. And number three, it's putting little grooves where all those rake titans are making contact. And so what that does is gives you a nice little trench for a seed bed. And so you can come through afterwards, do your overseeding and then run that to thatcher rake again, 
ideally at a little bit of a different angle so it kind of skims and scuffs the dirt over top of all those little trenches, covers all the seed up so you have really good seed to soil uh, contact for germination, hold some moisture in, and then get your grass started. So recently we started shipping Manufacturer Direct to try to keep prices down. With today's economy, you know, we're doing everything we can to get creative and find different ways. And so when we can work with a manufacturer to ship directly from them instead of having to get inventory shipped into us and then sending it back out to customers, I mean, there's real cost involved with transportation, right? So if we have to ship a bunch of stuff to us and then send it back out to you, it's just driving the price point up. And so I'm thankful to CMP to, uh, to work with us and, and they're grateful too. I mean, it's a good partnership that we have um, and we're able to ship stuff factory direct right from them. And so these things ship out UPS ground in a 50 pound box. It's about five foot long by nine inches by nine inches. So easy enough for a UPS driver to drop off at, at your front door. It takes about maybe an hour, a solid hour I would say. There's, you know, you're bolting a lot of stuff together. All these little tines that have to get bolted on here too. So plan on about an hour. If you're taking your time, hour and a half, whatever. It's not, not the end of the world. You do it once uh, and you're done. Oddly enough, a question that came up um, after we were done shooting yesterday and before we started shooting this morning was, tell me the truth. Is this the Thatcher really heavy duty? And give me, give me, you know, the scoop on it. Is it quality and yada, yada, yada. This is not a heavy duty attachment and it is not meant to be. We did a video in the fall comparing a landscape rake versus a dethatcher rake. And the idea is a landscape rake is a bigger, heavier tool. The dethatcher rake is the opposite end of that spectrum. It's a very lightweight tool, so it's not super aggressive. If you're gonna use this all over your lawn, you don't wanna be taking out chunks of sod. You wanna just get the thatch out of there, um, you know, open up uh, some soil on there for germination, for, for scarifying, um, doing this leveling kind of thing on a very light level. You don't want deep grooves from a rake or anything else or having to really control it. This tool, you can just drop it down on the three point and let it do its thing. You can go forwards or backwards. So this is, if you run into a tree though, or a stump, you're gonna break it, all right? So you gotta use this with some common sense involved, um, but go into it with that aspect as well as, it's a decent amount less than a rake a landscape rake too, so it has that going forward as well. Overall, these are a very, very popular item that we sell. Um, if you do need to get replacement parts too, you can order those directly from CMP. Uh, they have a little section on their website where you can just order replacement parts for a kind, or if you do run into a stump and you need to replace a section of the frame, you can buy that section on there too and get back up and running. I'm gonna give you my opinion, and I think that the Thatcher is really the winner here. Um, and again, I, I don't have much experience with these drag mats, but. I do think if you had a just a receiver, like on an ATV or UTV, that's a big selling point for that drag mat. Um, you, you know, this requires a three-point hitch to use this to Thatcher. But man, if I've got the two tools sitting side by side, right now I'm struggling to come up with an application where I'm gonna pick the drag mat over the Thatcher and think that that's the right tool for the job. I mean, I don't know. I think the results speak for themselves, at least in the applications that I have here. Of course, there's other scenarios and circumstances where perhaps that drag mat works better. I don't know, but CMP has been selling these things for years longer than I have, and they advertise them for raking out ball diamonds too, doing gravel driveways on light grading, that kind of thing. Um, so really using it for a lot of the same purposes that a drag mat is used for anyways, I don't know. Four times the cost, three, four times the cost, somewhere in there. Not as versatile, harder to turn around and navigate for me the Thatcher's getting the win. So folks, if you're looking for one of these tools that you saw in today's video, or you need something else for your three-point hitch or your front-end loader, we'd love to help you out. We ship all over the country every day of the week. Prices include shipping, rewards, and financing too. And if you enjoy watching Tractor Tools in action, then check out the other videos on our channel. We have over 600 more for you to take a look at. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.